What's up y'all, welcome back. It's Bales with Southern For Real. Tonight's another cook your life something delicious night. And by popular request, tonight's cook is gonna be Bahu Ceviche. This is uh, one of those tastes of the keys for us. It always kind of puts us in that place when we enjoy it. So we're, uh, we're taking a little break from our present surroundings tonight. And we'd love to hear from y'all, you know, what foods are the tastes of vacation for you? So please comment below. So what we're working with tonight is about 12 ounces of Wahoo. And actually the first thing we're gonna do is throw this in the freezer. The reason we're doing that is that's just gonna help firm up the fish and it's gonna make it easier for us to cut while we start breaking down our other ingredients. This is literally one of those dinners that is nothing more than chop and stir. So if you can chop and stir, I promise you can do this one. So follow along with us, it's gonna be great. So in terms of ingredients tonight, what we're working with is one orange bell pepper. We've got a large yellow onion. We're gonna be using just half of that. We've got a couple avocados. You know how those guys are. You can never tell if they're gonna be ripe or not. So we brought two just in case. We've got some fresh lime juice as well as orange juice that's going to go in. That's actually going to be the acid that's going to cook our fish. We've got a medley of cherry tomatoes and for seasoning we've got black pepper, chardonnay smoked salt, and cayenne. So we're going to start by just knocking the sides off our bell pepper. First thing we're going to do is give ourselves a flat surface to work with. So we've taken the bottom off. Then what we're looking for is these ribs and if we cut perpendicular to those we can take off the white that we don't want on the inside. Just like that. And what we're going for with all of our vegetables this evening is basically a fine dice. All right, so next we're just gonna go through our cherry tomatoes. These guys are already pretty small. We're just gonna cut each one into three sections and go straight into our mix. With the orange and the red, it's gonna add a lot of great color to our dish. Next, we're gonna go ahead and juice our limes. The reason for that is once we open up our avocados, we wanna get them into that lime juice so it'll help them avoid browning. So we're just gonna cut these in half and juice them real quick. All right, so we've got our limes all juiced. And to that, we're going to add just a touch of our orange juice, just for a little extra citrus flavor. A little like a Texas margarita, if you know what I mean. So we're just going to give that a quick mix. And go ahead and add it to our chopped vegetables here. All right, y'all, it's time to play avocado roulette. You know how that goes. I can tell we've got a couple little soft spots, so I'm expecting that we may have to let a portion of one or both of these go. We'll see what we're working with. Doesn't look too bad. This side's a little brown. We're gonna let it go. Feel for the soft spot on this one and try to cut around the pit, just beneath it. So if we can't see it, salvage most of it. Yep, the rest of that one looks pretty good. I think we're gonna be okay. So now we're just gonna score our avocado in a cross hatch to make little cubes. Just like that, we'll knock out the other one and they'll be going straight in with the rest of our vegetables. So we have most of our vegetables together. We're only lacking our onion at this point. They're all getting happy in this lime orange marinade. So just gonna give it a quick stir. Gonna just keep that avocado from browning on us. And we're gonna go to work on our onion. So the easiest way to deal with our onion is to just cut this top end off, keeping the root end intact so it doesn't all come apart. We're just gonna remove that. Again, to give ourselves something flat to work with. We're only gonna need half of this onion tonight, so we're just gonna go straight down through it, just like that. We'll reserve the rest of it for another meal. Gonna peel off this outside layer, 
And now what we want to do, because we're going for a fine dice, is we just want to work our way around our onion, not cutting all the way through it. Just cutting nice slices around it. And then we're just going to come back and cut it into a dice. So we're just going in with our onion or the rest of our veggie mixture. We may not need all of it. If not, we'll reserve the rest for another meal. We're just giving it a mix, looking at our ratio of ingredients. All right, so last but not least, we have the star of tonight's ceviche, which is our wahoo. It's been in the freezer for about 10 minutes now while we've been chopping the rest of it up. And what we're gonna do with it is first we're gonna just cut it on a horizontal bias to thin it down a little bit, just like that. And then what we're looking for is just to cube it into nice bite-sized chunks. So you just wanna think about how you want your guests to enjoy it and aim for that size. We want these to be relatively small because we want the acid from the orange and the lime to take care of cooking it for us. All right, so now that we've got all of our ingredients chopped, we're just gonna give all this a mix. Get that wahoo marinating with that lime and orange juice mixture. That acid's gonna take care of the cooking process for us. As you all can imagine, this is an extremely healthy, very clean tasting, very refreshing meal. And despite starting with just 12 ounces of fish, this is gonna be very filling for two people. All right, we've got that mixed. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our seasonings. We're gonna start with a little Meyer lemon infused olive oil. My own opinion is that typical olive oil is too strong and will overpower this dish, but the citrus in this balances things out, so it'll be just fine. About a tablespoon of olive oil. And in addition to that, we're gonna go with some Chardonnay barrel smoked salt and fresh cracked black pepper. Like Isaac Coop says, you want to do this until you're tired. Just like that. And lastly, we're going to add just a little bit of cayenne pepper for a little bit of additional heat. Probably about a quarter of a teaspoon. So we're going to give it a final stir. And then we're just going to set it in our fridge and let all these flavors come together. All right, y'all. So we popped our... <laughs> We popped our Wahoo ceviche into the fridge for a quick five minutes just to get a little chill on it. We don't want it to be in there too long. You know, we don't want the, uh, the acids from the lime and the orange to overcook our fish. So we're just gonna give it a quick stir and then it's gonna be time to go in for a taste. Tell you what, if you're like us, I'm sure you'd rather be down in the islands right now, but if you can't pull that off, this might be the next best thing. All right. I'm just going to fix a small taste. If I can't get a little bit of everything. Looks great. Colors are beautiful. The fish is just lightly opaque. Looks like it's cooked perfectly. And that's going to be the bite. Mm. So it's very fresh. The citrus fruit and the Meyer lemon infused olive oil get it, give it a really nice tropical flavor. Salt and pepper on it is perfect. It's going to pair up great with a nice crisp white wine this evening. The only thing that would be better than this would be if we just landed in Key West. And 20 minutes later, which is our typical average, we were sitting at Hurricane Hole, dining on this and painkillers. But until we're able to do that next, y'all give this a shot at home. I promise it's easy. It's fun. You can knock it out in about 20 minutes flat. So in the meantime, thank you all for joining us tonight. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Take good care. And to all of you who are in harm's way this evening, especially those who may be serving our country overseas or in our nation's medical centers. We love you.